guys it's alex over at laser everything and uh, i had an awesome intro shot for this video and i deleted it from my hard drive and i could not recover it so it's going to be impossible for me to replicate my excitement about sharing this uh, with you so i'm just going to describe my excitement about it um i'm ecstatic i was ecstatic uh it, it's a really cool episode i think you guys are really going to enjoy it we're engraving both sides of this ammo can one side with the co2 and the other side with the fiber uh we're doing some photos on powder coat uh yeah th apparently that's the thing uh we we kind of did it by accident but um man it, it worked out uh so really great episode right here for you don't go anywhere because we're gonna jump right into it All right, guys, this ammo can is going in the fiber and the CO2 today, and I'm nervous about putting it in the fiber. So we're starting with the CO2. Uh, we're just going to do a big nameplate style graphic. It's going to look a little bit something like this. I've just finished prepping the artwork. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this thing fired up and jump into Lightburn to see what we can do about this paint. Uh, I'm just going to add a couple cardboard chips just to level this out. Um, we'll go ahead and get those in the middle. Don't need this wandering off on us anywhere. That actually looks pretty good. First try. I'm happy with that. Uh, we also just want to make sure that we are focused. It's about 250 by 135. So that's what's going in. All right, nice. And uh, okay, now that we have those things out of the way, we can jump over to Lightburn. Okay guys, a little bit of a rough start today, but we've got the machine on. We've taken our measurements and uh, we've got everything leveled and focused out really nice. Uh, so we do just need to make our outline box really quick. Um, we probably don't even need it for a project like this, but I'm going to throw it in anyway. And uh, I, my numb lock's not on. 250. I'm tired. It's the end of the day, guys. I'm ready to go home. Uh, we got our 250 wide and I believe it was 135 height. So there's our outline, and uh, now we just need to grab our artwork, which I have saved to the desktop, so we're going to come to import. They want it relatively centered, so I'm just going to resize this a little bit here, and we'll make our double selection and align right up there along the top. And let's see, so, all right, so we've got this size. I'm just, I'm just trying to get the sizing right here. Uh, you know, we want a little space on the edges. We don't want it edge to edge. That'll look weird. Uh, let's make sure that's center one last time. That looks good. There it is. Uh, and we just want to paint this blue so that we get a nice fill on it. Now, for settings, um, what I'm thinking is we're going to use like our powder coat removal setting for tumblers on the ammo can because the ammo can's got some thick paint on it. This tumbler setting should get through that paint. It's really, really thick paint, but I'm feeling pretty good about this. We got 30 power on a 100 watt machine that should chew right through it. So uh, I'm going to start the job in the top left corner. We're just going to frame it a couple of times just to make sure that, uh, you know, everything is relatively center and we should be good to go. This shouldn't be that difficult. So um, let's go ahead and shoot this over and um, I'll see you over at the CO2. Okay, guys, let's load in our file real quick. File, enter. There it is, that's looking pretty good. And we'll just step over here and look at the can. We do just wanna get this framed up so that it's more or less center. So I'm gonna work on that for a minute. I'm just gonna be running frames over and over again until I feel like things are centered up. Uh, so go ahead and watch, take a, take a watch and uh, see if you can't pick up some of my habits here and uh, we'll, uh, we'll get this thing running. So if you can see there, guys, I was just kind of like moving it while I was framing it. So I'd hit frame and then come over here and move it a little bit. And then I'd frame it again and then come over here and move it a little bit. And uh, we've got it riding that bottom line really well, which is the most important one, to be honest. I'm not super concerned with the side. I just don't want it to look lopsided when it's standing up on its end. Um, so that's really the, the bottom line is the, the key one there. But it looks like we've got plenty of space. Uh, we know that our graphic is smaller than our outline, so it's not going to be edge to edge like our outline is. And we're nice and focused, so I say we run this thing. So let's go ahead and get this thing going. Oh, 
that was horrible. That smelled so bad. Instant headache, instant headache. If you engrave paint like that, uh, don't, don't breathe it in. That's not good, it's not good. Tried to like be in there and babysit it and monitor how things were going and uh, I had to walk out a couple times and it just like the the hoodie did nothing. Really gross. Just needed fresh air for a minute. I couldn't even sit in there for another second. The exhaust just couldn't keep up. I don't know why. I almost never smell anything when I'm engraving. I don't know why that was so bad. <sighs> Alright, I got some fresh air. You can head back in now. Go we'll clean it off. All right, guys. Well, the good news is I think that's over with, so uh, that's nice. I can breathe again a little bit. I can still smell it in the air, but uh, we're doing better than we were. So to get this cleaned up, classic duo here, alcohol, magic eraser, uh, nothing too fancy. So let's just get some of this on here. There we go, and we'll just give it a quick scrub. Look at that, immediately, immediately. It just comes right up. Look at that. That CO2 powder coat setting is just the best. Now, I'm, I'm putting a decent amount of pressure on, but I'm not going nuts, because I don't know how strong this paint is on here, and uh, I'm not trying to ruin their box right so just enough to get that that junk off i'm barely pushing on it and that's probably good and then we'll just hit it with a little bit of zep microfiber cloth and uh that's the that's the magic right there guys look at that just finishing it off with a little uh Little glass cleaner there come on give me a dry spot there we go that's a lot better what do you guys think of that I know that looks pretty freaking awesome right okay that was the easy part now we have to go do the hard part So let's just go to import a raster here and uh, we got to find the desktop and there it is there's our tractor we'll open this up and uh, it's gonna come in here nice and big like easy cat always does and we will resize it and they want it like maxed out they want it as big as they can get away with getting it so we're gonna we're gonna really kind of push our limits on the 110 here uh, and that looks good we could probably do this on the 220, but I don't want to risk it. I don't want to buy an ammo can right now. I just don't want to deal with it. So uh, we're doing the four inch. I told them this was as big as we could go. As far as settings, I want something nice and dark so we still get contrast on that green. So I'm going to go steel general uh, and I am not going to anneal it or anything. Maybe, I don't know. We really got to play this one by ear because uh, this is weird photos like actual bitmap raster photos on like a powder coat situation. I don't know. So we're going to try it. We're going to see what happens. Uh, so here's our graphic. That looks good. We'll go ahead and light it and we'll try to light this thing up um, and, and we'll go from there. So I have you guys centered up as best I can. And uh, usually I just kind of eyeball this stuff, right? We get it up to a straight line. We say, eh, yeah, that looks center. And uh, we, we run it because I've been doing this for a long time and I can do that. It's one of the things that makes all this uh you know doing this for so long worth it is that you can kind of just look at stuff but we have so much extra space around our target area here that's pretty much impossible to do so what we're going to do is we're going to grab some masking tape we're going to give ourselves some masking tape lines on the sides and the top and the bottom so that we can actually see a little bit closer uh, how far away we actually are from each edge. It should be an easy way to make sure that this is center. So uh, I'm gonna grab the masking tape and we're gonna do that really quick. There we go, guys, that's what I'm talking about. Now I can actually see, you know, how far I am from each side. I can center things up with like the bottom or top if I want to. 
So, you know, we, we can have equal parts of the square overlapping on the top and the bottom. So as long as those two are even, then it should be in the center. We can have it equidistant from the left tape and equidistant from the right tape, which means that it's going to be center horizontally. So this makes me much more confident. I'm feeling much better about lining this up now. The only question is the straightness, and I feel like this bottom piece of masking tape is just a little bit skewed, so I'm going to skew this just a little bit. Uh, really, you'd want to peel this up and replace it, but we don't have time for that. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just pull this off if we're feeling good about it, and I, I am. In fact, you know, I'm going to set a good example, and I'm going to just go ahead and place this down one more time just to make sure this is absolutely straight. So let's just line that up with the bottom edge there. All right, that, that couldn't be better. So let's just, yeah, I mean, that looks pretty good. I, I don't think we need to keep messing with it. I think it's solid right there. So we're gonna call that. So I'm just gonna peel that off. And I'm gonna leave the sides on because I don't wanna move the ammo can, right? I don't wanna move it. I want it to stay right there. So I'm just gonna carefully remove the top and bottom because they're actually in our way. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and run it just like this. So. Uh, with our steel general setting that we picked out guys uh and you know we're in focus so we don't really have to do anything else uh maybe get some exhaust might be a good idea right there should be good we'll go ahead and turn that on and we'll run this thing holy crap guys holy crap Oh my God, do you see this? What? What do I do? Do I clean it? I don't, I don't know. I guess we should try to clean it, right? Uh, I'm gonna not spray anything first. Here we go. Whoa, <laughs> guys. Holy crap. What is this? Oh my God. Oh. Oh man, that is just so cool. Guys, look at that. Look at this, oh my God. This is the coolest thing that I've ever seen. Look, direct lighting, it's right behind the phone. Direct lighting, side lit, top lit. Oh my God. Guys. Look at that. Unreal. Unreal. <laughs> That's freaking ridiculous. <laughs> that couldn't have come out any better. <laughs> I'm stoked on that. That's so cool. <sighs> All right, gotta come down. We have to uh, We have to add our text here. Let's see if we can even get this to, there we go. Yep, that's super massive. So we might be able to get away with doing these both in one shot and you know me, I'm gonna try cause I am lazy. So uh, at Steel General again, uh, why not? <laughs> Hasn't steered us wrong yet, right? Uh, and I think for this one, we're gonna go 45s standard, right there, standard, standard. Ooh, yeah, no, 0 0.025, must be a leftover from a dark aluminum. Let's check this one too, 0 0.025. 0 0.025. All right, that looks good. Uh, so we'll let that hatch up. Great. And uh, we should probably add a box, right? So we can get it straight with the uh, with the tractor there. So we'll add the box. We'll cut the text. Okay, let's go line that up really quick. Guys, I've calmed down a little bit, uh, but we still have a mission. We're not done, right? We got to get our text on there. So we're just gonna get this lined up just like that. I've got my left and right edges here of the grass. So I know that that's nice and straight. And we've got space on the top and the bottom for our text. So that looks good. I think we can just leave that. Let's go light our text up and see how that looks. So we're just gonna drop our text, pick up our outline, and I'm gonna light that and let's go look at that too. This is all looking perfect, guys. This is going so well. Uh, let's go ahead and mark our text and uh, we can call it. I might do two passes. I want to see some metal on our text. This worked out beautifully, but I don't want our text to look like this. Uh, so um, we want to see some metal. We might run two passes. Let's go ahead and run it and find out. 
So a uh, classic problem here, we got through the top way faster than we got through the bottom. Uh, it's probably tilted back like this. We're probably off on our leveling just a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna remove the top and we're just gonna keep going on the bottom until we match that tone. So uh, let me go do that and then we'll run this again. Still not doing it guys, we need uh, more power, slower. Apparently we're at 90 power, so we can't do more power, but we can certainly go slower. We're taking it from 500 speed to 200 here. Let's try it again. There it is. There it is. All right, guys, I'll take it. So where do we go from here? Do we anneal it? Do we call it a day? We're successful, leave it alone. I think we better anneal it. I don't wanna oil this and get oil all over the paint because then it's not gonna match the rest of the paint. So let's hit it with a quick anneal and then we'll wrap it up for the day. So we just gotta back up here, control Z, back to where we had both bits of text in. I just realized this isn't, uh, these aren't center with each other, but this is their artwork. I literally scanned it off a piece of paper, so. Um, you know, we're going with it. Uh, certainly not, can't do anything about it now. So um, we're gonna select param from artwork and uh, let's see, we just want our steel anneal. Uh, this should work for both, even though one side is less focused than the other. I'm thinking and looking for settings at the same time. All right, steel anneal general, that looks good. Uh, let's run this and let's, let's be done with this before we mess it up, because I feel like we're gonna mess it up if we keep doing stuff. All right, anneal and we're done, here we go. It's just wrapping up here. So we got a really nice anneal up here on the top. That looks really good. Down here, also pretty nice, actually. They're not a perfect match, but they're close enough. I think this is good. Let's go get into some more even lighting. Um, we'll get it cleaned up and uh, get the tape off it and, and we'll call it. In some even light here, guys, uh, that is looking much more even. Uh, so we might have just had a lighting issue. A lot of that could have been for nothing. It could have just been the, the lights lighting up the fiber table, making it look different on the top and bottom. Let's see what our clean, dry microfiber cloth does for us. Uh, I don't know, guys. We might have to hit this with the magic eraser. I don't want to. I'm nervous about this, but we might have to do it because we got, we got stuff going on up here. I don't like the stuff. Let's just do it, right? Screw it. Here we go. See what happens. Ooh. It's a little tacky, guys. It's a little tacky. Could be worse. Could be worse. Let's hit it with the Windex. Let's hit it with a clean, dry part of our cloth here. Turn the sucker inside out. There we go. And we'll give it the wipe down. Okay, our photo's still there, that's good. <laughs> Looks like we got some lines from the alcohol though, and that's not what we want, so we're gonna have to do it again. The text looks better though, right? Look at that. Text looks better. All right, just a little more alcohol. I'm done with the direct application. We're gonna get it right on, we're gonna get it on here instead. I'm just wanna clean these edges up, right? Let's get all that loosey-goosey stuff off of there. We'll go over this one more time, just to say that we did. If it's not coming off with alcohol and magic eraser, it's not coming off, so at least we can feel confident that we're giving it to the customer and it's gonna last. Windex. I like diluting the, uh, the alcohol before I wipe it off because the alcohol evaporates too fast and it leaves like nasty streaks we want a nice kind of polished finish on this. Guys, come on. Look at that. We just want to keep spreading out that excess moisture. Just want to keep spreading it out. So we get it to evaporate nice and even. We want a nice even evaporation. Still got just like this little spot right down here. That's it. Look at that guys, what do you guys think? Would you have cleaned this or uh, would you have just given it to the customer as is? 
I think it could have been a mistake cleaning it. I think we got lucky. I can't believe the, the photo. Look at that. It looks so good. Flip this over. Yeah, they're gonna be they're gonna be stoked on this whole thing. What a great project. That was a good one, guys. Thank you guys so much for coming by to hang out for a little bit. I really appreciate you stopping by and uh, watching the video. I hope you got value out of it. If you did, hit the like button so that other people know that the content is so, so good. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you get notified the next time I post a video. If you're really, really loving the channel and this is just the best thing you've ever seen, uh, go ahead and check out the Patreon. There's a link down in the description. Uh, and when you sign up, you get instant access to my entire fiber laser and CO2 laser parameter library, which is updated monthly, as well as a ton of other amazing perks that really make it worth your while. Not to mention, you're helping to support the channel and you're making sure that I can continue to spend time making videos, live streaming, uh, doing the shorts and uh, you know all the other stuff that we've got coming your way. The podcast just came out, so that's another thing. Uh, and the Patreon supports all of that. So uh, if you really, really wanna help out the channel, check out the Patreon. While you're down there, right next to the link to the Patreon, there is a link to our Discord community, our amazing online community filled with people that literally Really can't wait to help you with your laser. Um, they want to see what you're working on. They want to know what your problems are. They want to help you out. They want to figure things out. Just an, an awesome, awesome community filled with amazing people. So uh, if you want to check that out, the link is down below in the description, right next to the link to the Patreon. And that's all I've got, guys. Thanks so much for coming by again to uh, hang out with me for a little bit, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.